Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will go over e-filing in ETA 9089 and the appendix forms. Let us log into our caseworker portal. The first thing we want to do is download the e-filing application, which allows communication from our software onto government sites like the USCIS, Department of State, Department of Labor, or other. To download the e-filing application, go to the Tools section on the left and select e-filing. You will see a Launch button to download, and once downloaded, you will install it to your computer. Once downloaded, you should be able to find it on your computer as Serenade ECMS e-filer. Please note that this application is PC-based, which means you must have a PC computer to use it. If you have a Mac, there are third-party solutions such as Parallels or Amazon Workspaces that allow you to have a remote PC desktop on your Mac computer, which would then allow you to use the e-filer. Also, please note that you only need to download the e-filer once. If you have it downloaded already, then you can move forward with the next part of e-filing, which will be explained in this video. Now that we have the e-filing application downloaded and installed, the next step is to locate an already completed form. Let us go into a case profile. From inside the cases, go to the form section. For this video, we will use a couple of completed forms. One will be the ETA 9089, and another will be the appendix forms, which is needed for the ETA 9089. For this video, we will use completed forms, meaning we have gone in, added info, and saved information to both forms. However, if you wish to add these forms, you can do so by clicking on Add Forms, locating the forms, and then adding them to the case. You will proceed to input information on the forms. Once we have our forms completed, we will first want to lock both forms to the left to ensure no one makes any changes to the forms during the e-filing process. Then, to the right, you will see an e-filing column where it will mark the status as ready and a schedule button. This schedule button is what will send the form to the e-filing application we just downloaded. Let us click on the schedule button on the ETA 9089. A pop-up box will appear called e-filing miscellaneous fields. This box must be completed to ensure that every field transfers properly during the e-filing process. We will click on next. We will go question by question ensuring the information appears properly, filling out what is needed. If we click on the Show Mandatory Only checkbox, it will only list questions you need to guarantee everything e-files properly. If you uncheck it, it will show any extra questions you wish to add additional information. You will also see subtext in red to help you identify what answer you put on the form. Once you've gone through the questions and finished verifying the information, you will click on Save and Schedule. You will proceed by clicking on Schedule on the next form, and the e-filing miscellaneous will appear you will verify the information in similar manner. You have now scheduled both forms to be e-filed. Let us proceed to find the e-filing application on your computer. Let us launch the application. The first thing asked is your URL. This is a distinct URL given to each account which can be found in the area you downloaded the e-filer. You will proceed by logging in. You will then be asked to enter your caseworker portal credentials. These are the same credentials you use to log into e-immigration or ECMS. Proceed with logging in. You are now logged into the e-filer and you will see your scheduled forms to the left. We will first want to select the ETA 9089. Later in this video, we will come back to select the appendix form. If we click on the form, we will be taken into the Department of Labor website. You will be asked to either sign in or create an account. Once logged in, you will go to the area to file a form for your client. Locate the area to e-file the ETA 9089 and click on it. You are now inside the e-fileable form. This means the populate data button has appeared on the right. By clicking it, it will proceed to start populating data on the form online. You will go page by page clicking on the populate data button, ensuring the data is transferred properly. Once you reach an area asking for appendix information, you will click on the appendix form scheduled on the left. You will get a pop-up asking you to confirm changing scheduled forms, and you will click on Yes. By doing this, the e-filer will now use the scheduled appendix form to e-file. To the right, the system more than likely has taken you back to the area to locate to file a form online, or possibly even sign in again. 
If this happens, do not panic. You will either re-sign in, or if already signed in, locate the area where you worked on the ETA 9089, which is located in the Cases section of the Department of Labor website, and select the form you initiated. And once inside the ETA 9089, go to the area asking for appendix information. The Populate Data button will appear. If clicked, same as before, the appendix information will start to populate. Once you are done e-filing both forms, the last thing you want to do is click on Mark as Complete. You'll be asked to enter a reference number, and once clicking Mark as Complete, the form will disappear from the list of scheduled forms in the e-filer. You will repeat the process for the other form scheduled by clicking on that form and selecting Mark as Complete. If we go back into the form section of the case profile, we will see the status as completed, the reference number you inserted, and lastly, the completion date. You have successfully e-filed both forms. This concludes our video on e-filing the ETA 9089.